we're back. We're hot. We're heavy with the Le Legend of Heroes Trails of the Reverie. We're going to talk to Risha and the other two exclamation marks up there. Don't remember who it is, and we're going to continue on with the story. Oh, Lloyd, I found this a little earlier. Ah! An Azure Droplet? Huh? I feel like I've seen similar items in the Irving Corridor, too. I believe it's some kind of elixir that's only produced within the corridor. Taking a sip makes you feel as though you've gained the benefits of training without even lifting a finger. That's pretty crazy. So is uh, so is the fact you tried it still? It's incredible something like this exists. Well, I only did because I heard stories about similar things existing in Eastern folklore. Regardless, I think we should make good use of them when we come across any more. I was thinking the same thing. Thanks for finding one, Risha. Not at all. Azure Droplets and Azure Divine Water. These items will grant EXP to a character. Select the character from the menu. So just bear in mind that you cannot use these items to... To level the current highest leveled character in the Reverie Corridor. Cannot use on the highest leveled character. But you could do it to make everybody's level the same. How many do it, did I pick up? I must have a few. Uh oh. We have 54 Azure Droplets. Which is all kinds of EXP. So we can level up a bunch of people. And it seems like... So it must just be... Yeah, to make everybody the same level. I've done it! So... It's like... All these people yeah, that are rather it. low level... Yeah, I did it! Why not make them all the same level? I've only just begun. I've only just begun. This is probably cheating and probably not what I should be doing with them at the moment. I only get cuter as I level up. Oh, fuck yeah. I only get cuter as I level up. I'm not going to make them all 107. Yay, I did it! Okay, I'm going to leave you there. A matter, of course. Leave you there. <laughs> Whoopee! Why don't we just go until the ultimate barrier X? I'm gonna get everybody at least leveled it feels up. Good to improve. To that. Well, let's, okay. So increases max ADF, ATS, strength. Well, I know where our power drop is. Actually, my water. So, as long as we can keep picking them up easy peasy lemon squeezy, anybody that's ever too under leveled, we can just jack them up. So that's awesome. Now, I already know what this does because I did accidentally read that this is going to give us Vantage Masters, even though I would have known just looking at the table. What are you, what the two of you up to? We're ha yeah. We were just having a conversation and then Vantage Masters came up. She's teaching me the ins and outs. Oh, yeah, it's pretty popular over in Erebonia, isn't it? Kie made me play last year, actually. Oh, you've played before? I'm hardly an expert myself, but it's such a strategic game that it wouldn't be out of place being taught at a military academy. That's saying something. Hearing that kind of makes me want to pick it back up again. I don't see why not. I'm enjoying playing it myself. Oh, I know. Why don't you join us? That sounds like an idea to me. I actually have a spare deck you could use. Would you like it? Are you sure? Of course, the more the merrier. As long as you promise to play with us to pass the time. Of course, you have my word. You had better get those cards in order, then I'm expecting a good game or two now. I look forward to seeing what you're capable of. You can play Vanish Master with Ellie, you can play Vanish Master with Claire, and we probably should beat them both. We know the deck for the game starts is now a uh, Vanish Master available at the table in the Reverie Garden, which is this. You'll be able to play more opponents of Vanish Master the rest of the story. You can view a card you can't even possess and rearrange your deck by inspecting the table garden. You can also challenge opponents you've already defeated to a rematch directly from the table. We're gonna challenge you. So we're gonna feel this trial now. I do know how to play Vantage Masters. Um, and I'll teach as we go through. With the bard. Let the game begin. I like to go second. Because it gives me an extra mana. Not a bad first hand, but we're gonna get rid of these two because I don't like them. Okay. This did not help me much. 
I kind of want ranged people, and I'll explain here. So we have Magic Crystal. Okay, you started with a lot of Magic Crystals, and you sealed me. Okay. So she sealed my bird. My bird cannot move or attack me, kind of thing. Um, and you use mana to summon cards if it says one or three. Uh, you, you use three mana to activate her ability. You use one mana to summon that. Stuff like that. Pretty straightforward that way. So what we're going to start off with here... We're going to summon this over on the Magic Crystal. Magic Crystal give you an extra mana and add to your mana pool for the turn. And, um... We're going to summon a Dol Mandala up here. Um, so, also, if you have anything back here, it cannot attack anything up here. Unless it has a range, like a bow and arrow you'll see on a card. That's all we got for this turn. You'll learn as we go. I didn't, like, I'm just going to a rough explanation. The way we win, we defeat the enemy's master. That's all there is to it. And my dumb dollar. And you almost killed my dumb dollar. See, range. You can see a bow on it. And this is mostly how I win these. I'm gonna do that. And do that. And end. But I do gotta start clearing their field, because this is a little rough! Now, why would you do that? Magic Crystal, boost up attack and stuff on a card as well. Go over here. We're gonna just kill off that, because I can. And kill off that with the range. See what I mean? Not that hard of a game. Not that hard of a game. Every card has a different ability most of the time. And you're sealing me again. You have problems. Oh, so you sealed him and killed him. Lovely. Draws a card upon leaving the field. I like it. Kill it. And there is elemental. You'll see an attribute square over here. So the fire kills the spirit. The spirit kills the... Earth, the earth kills the water, the water kills the fire. You know. But generic. She's low on cards. She can't go too crazy. Flying. I think flying does mean something. Just gonna wipe out the field. Do that, and that, draw a card. Shouldn't have gotten rid of everything that I did, don't get me wrong. We'll do that, and summon that. I shouldn't have, but I also do need damage done as well, because we haven't done much damage. Who you sealing? That adds up. Hepatus. You don't do much, buddy. Yeah, I wouldn't think... I, yeah, nope. We'll do the water, kill it. Two, two, five... Hmm. Don't quite want to. Do this. We'll steal your bird, because fuck you. Yeah, you now that you're sealed, you can't hit back. Ha ha! So 
Sorry for the chair. Ah, you get rid of the seal. But then didn't use it. So I can still seal you. Deal 7 damage to a target if the Paladin Master is in play. Or 6 damage otherwise. Here's what we'll do. Skill. Boom. I mean, yeah. We only need to kill that to win. But... Also, anything in the front row it has to be dead to attack anything in your back row. I should probably explain that as well. Rough. That's rough. And you healed. That's also rough. Ah, range. Bada bang. And my two back rows are double protected. I don't think they're gonna pull off something and kill. Eh, never mind. They did. And they didn't use the skill. Wasted opportunity. Oh, shit. I should still win? <sighs> well played. Bada bing, bada boom. And we got three of the Tarbis card. Hey, this game actually brings it up and shows you what it does. Alright, now I will beat you. Not very good, but you accept. I don't need to change my deck yet. Oh, that card Let's looks begin. way cooler than mine. And it's a range. I don't like that you have a range one. Kind of a rough hand. Kind of a really rough hand. Not a lot of small summons. Alright. And you get to attack right off the hop. So, um, this sucks. Okay, um, click seal for a turn. You have the same thing, and you recover an HP per turn. Yeah. Um. Now it gives you a card, and I don't exactly want to do that. Ah, oh, I don't like that you have a really good fucking card! You're being an absolute twat. Okay, um... I'll steal you for your next turn. Spell with you. Gotta get my range in. Get rid of the shield. Actually get some damage in. Okay. This isn't that bad now. You don't heal as long as you're sealed. That's a problem, though. Um. Hmm. We're gonna do it to you. For good reason. For good reason. I can't seal you. Yet. 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 Hold on. Everybody, hold on. Boom. Because of the weakness, we should be able to kill you. Now we can 
Celia. And hit you for two! Look at that. Strategy, strategy, strategy. I just wish I had a little bit more crystal power. A little more mana. Two my arms. Two my arms. Okay. Medic. I should do that. Get you ready. Still sealing the hell out of you. Gotta kill you. Uh, should. We're gonna keep your cards low. We're trying to choke her out, basically, in this play. That's the strat. Another big boy. Um, hmm, mm hmm. Uh, I don't want to do that. I want to. Bada bing. Bada boom. Why did I do that? I didn't even read it. That would kill. That would kill. Hmm, 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 hmm. Okay. So this might not go so swell now. Put him down. We'll get Zamelt and ready. Yeah, who you seen one? Good. That ain't all that harmful. Two damage to an entire row. Still do shit with you, okay. I'm gonna get you ready. Kill you. Kill you. Get the seal. And at least get a little bit of damage in. Yeah, I do blue, that's all I can why you tell why you ask if one of my turn? That's all I can do. <laughs> Normally if you have nothing you can do, the game will just let you toss the toss it over. Okay, finish, deal seven damage to any target. So that's I'm gonna be a kingpin here. Could just win. We we held her to such low defenses for so long. <laughs> had nothing left she could do. Uptide times three. Attack one HP one to water allies and deals two damage to earth, fire, and heaven enemies. That's not bad at all. That's not bad at all. So we won all the mini games in this area. I think we need to for now. I know Vanish Masters and Pom Pom Party, and those will be things review later. missions. Oh. Daydreams, no, no. Fantastical Share Time and Prankster. I think it's three people. I think, though, I'm gonna look for guide. I think that's all we can do for there for now. We're gonna do a quick pause while I read, actually. Okay, so officially, at least for now, we're ready to leave the area. We're ready to go back. We have spent 
so many episodes here. It's actually been insane. Leave the court and resume Reen's story. Stay here. But what if I wanted to go to Lloyd's story? Maybe I'm supposed to just go to Reen's story? Whatever. We'll go to Reen's story. Departure noted. I wanted to... I, I don't know. Didn't think this would it be forcing me to do. Even though there's probably enough force, I could probably pop right the pack over. Um, so now I gotta kinda get myself back here. Okay, guess not. Hold on. Let's just continue from here. Okay. Huh? What were we just doing? I feel certain that something significant just happened, yet I cannot recall what. I remember us meeting with Her Highness and Representative Regnitz and resuming our investigation, but then we were just about to get going, right? Yeah, right. That's the last thing I remember, too. But if that's the last thing we did, why does something feel so off? And why do I suddenly feel so much stronger? Maybe there's more to this mirror here that meets the eye. Are you alright, Instructor? Sorry, I'm fine. Let's go, let's get back to the investigation. We've got a lot of people depending on us for this. Right, hopefully we can find at least one useful clue. Wild. The party's investigation then began anew. Green Truth's been suspended for now. Other routes must be advanced further before his can continue. So, his is stuck again so we can just jump right back over to Lloyd's let's get Lloyd's route and yeah why not let's just go back to Lloyd's which I thought is what we were gonna do in the first place and then the game was like hmm we're gonna make you jump around so I actually need to scroll down to the bottom of this Continue. Cool, good enough. Hmm, weren't we just... Did I... Uh, do I have feel screws loose or does something feel off? Yeah, it's like I just spaced out. Yeah, it's as if... Something doesn't add up. It's like my bodily suddenly feels different. I feel stronger? How's that possible? There must be one of this mirror that meets the eye. Damn. Alright, just copy Reen. Is everything alright, Lloyd? Is something on your mind? No, it's nothing. Nothing important, anyway. I'm more concerned about what we're going to find at the ancient battlefield. Let's go! Man's got a point! Yes, we should get anything we may need from the village while we have the chance. You can now view the status of characters from Reen's story in the party menu. You will also be able to view characters from Lloyd's story while playing Reen's story. This will allow you to check and move equipment across stories in addition to changing your party in the current story. You can also use L2 to view the party you're using in the Reverie Corridor. Finally, the characters you acquire by using gold ceiling stones will not directly join your teams in the real world. However, they can support you in battle by using orders. Does that mean... I can equip you here. And I can equip you here. Wowzers. Well, we're doing that. This game just got broken. Okay, equipment. I know we have all kinds of shit now. So you have Awaken Heaven, Evasion plus two, and that. Do I have anything better for evasion from the things I've picked up? I must look. Awaken Heaven would have. But the energy bandana is better. We might as well do that. Plus, prevent sleep. Hell yeah! You know, that's both good for you. Let's just put your speed up. There's gotta be something we can do a little better for you. I mean, we got all kinds of things. Oh, emblem. That's why I'm getting all razzle-dazzled. Thesis ring would be great. CP gain is up by 60%. Ooh, 
Ooh, that feels good for people. Puts everything up by so much, too. You are a healer, so it wouldn't be a bad idea either to have the CPU gain be extra. All right, so I think we're ready to head to the ancient battlefield. Also, I did scan. Oh, so they just check out. I didn't, I wasn't able to scan her, but it checked out and I did scan that. I will scan anything I come across into Daydream just in case. Also, look at all the shit that's gonna pop up in Daydreams. Oh, this game. Oh, this game. Oh, this game. Yeah, we got everything in the first stratum, and... Yeah. Yeah. Um... Maybe we'll head to the shop real quick. Maybe just buy a thing or two. Nothing crazy, nothing insane. And we'll uh, exchange all this. I'm just thinking more on... Yeah. We'll buy... Just a... Just a few more of them again. And... A few more Celestial Bombs. I just want to be ready. You know? Just want to be ready. Now we can head towards the Ancient Battleground, which we were trying to do, like, episodes and episodes ago. Wouldn't be shocked if some people forgot what the fuck we were doing. Honestly. Okie dokie. I don't really feel like we have to fight any of this shit now. Though, if we happen to, whatever. But I'm just gonna try to ignore it all. And head right for the ancient battleground. Because we've already gathered everything in the area, we've already done everything in the area, and we've already scanned everything in the area. Don't push your luck. That enemy's no joke. At least I'm pretty sure. Let me just check. So look at that, we scanned everything in the area. Well, we can head to the ancient battlefield. Well, this is pretty ancient looking, isn't it? Haha. -ha. Ancient battlefield. The ancient battlefield has been a while since I last needed to come here. If I remember correctly, the Imperial Army had a camp set up here until recently. That's right, it was taken down when they withdrew from Crossbell. I sent something menacing farther inside, and it isn't just the monster roaming around. Though I felt something, well, something when we passed here earlier, good to know. The old instincts haven't lost their touch. Yeah, we need to be alert. Everyone proceed with caution. Let's look out for one another. Of course, right? As if we wouldn't. Come now. Ah, yeah, we can modify our, our ordinance here. Quick pause, and maybe I'll do that. Alright, so maybe we modify the ordinance a little bit. Okay, so yours are... You actually have quite a bit. Um... We're doing definitely... We'll do three of yours, and that's what we're gonna do. So now I want to do the quartz. Okay, so... You... Restores... So that's good. Mine too. ATS 50. Do I have better? I do! Analyze you are. But that's not really an attack. So the thorn is... Still puts the ATS up. Puts the magic up. So maybe, uh, Maybe? The... ADF goes up too. I like this better, actually, Nemesis Arrow. And then Shield 2 is probably pretty good. You know what? That was worth it. I really gotta figure out the best way to do some of this shit, because I really don't know. There! An easy victory! Okay. Uh, we may as well start off with some of this. Um. Let's put every chance of death, and hopefully we don't kill both. Killed one! 
That's mine! Why not? Do I have a battle scope? I can't. Yeah, no one's got a scan. <sighs> right! I completely blanked no. for a minute. I was like, fuck. I've got you! What should I be doing here? Alright. Okay, so Nemesis is not as strong. You see Volt's nuts. Yeah. And it's so cool looking. Like, look at that. I love the look of Ixie and Volt. I like the look of a lot of the arts in this game. They're so fucking flashy. I don't mind. Alright. Keep things up. This is most of us want to CP up for the rest Good of this area. Sure. It's my turn. Yeah, I don't have. Oh, uh, right, but I do have. <laughs> I think I have people with analyze art. Sorry, but we need to press off. I think. Do I have people with analyze? Yeah, you have analyze, and you have analyze, and you have analyze. We're fine. Completely forgetting who on my team has shit because we spent so much time in the other area. Um. Delay down by a lot. Rebel in the night. So why not? Perfect. Makes sense to me for the time being. I don't mind. And we'll get the one scan <laughs> in. Sweet. Right. Very yeah. well when we have zero arts. Do the old galleon four. Don't quite need Good to, to go. see it right now. Leviathan up. How about a little fire? God, that move is so flashy. Follow my lead. There's a rush of now. Understood. It. Yeah. It's my turn. Yeah. This is, this is going, going swimmingly. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Let's go. Oh. It is. We have zero crap. May as well just go for the flash. Sorry, but we got stuff to do. Yeah, we got stuff to fucking do, bruh. I don't think I ever checked everyone's, like, master ports, like, what I wanted to equip them with, other than what they've got on. So what is, what's he got? Mirage, yellow master crafts, attacks and crafts, inflict random abnormalities. Which actually is probably really good for him. So, actually, I'm probably gonna leave that alone. You have Chevalier. Which is up to you. You have the CP one. You. You have the attacks of Crash and Fick Random and Hour Maladies. But what I should be doing with you. Have Cirrus now because I changed it. Good. But should I? Oh, both are evasion up, so that doesn't matter. Okay, so we're gonna leave you alone. Muraku Everyone has Murakuma. Maybe we shouldn't do that with you. Increases damage to the enemies in break state. Evades magic attacks. Magic? Oof. EP. Stronger counter attacks. Physical damage. Up as HP drops. Killing damage restores CP. Obtain. That's not bad. Increases potency healing hearts. Potency of healing items. High HP increases break damage and recover HP through stuff, which is good. Obtain speed. High HP. Yeah, you know what? We're actually going to leave everything alone for now. I can't think of a way to change any of it to make my life any easier or better. Fortune shines upon us. 
think, though, we're probably at a good position here. Yeah, 35 minutes. We're gonna end this episode here. Please comment, subscribe, tell me what you thought of this episode, what you're thinking of the series as a whole, what you think's gonna happen next. Things are getting kind of wild, won't lie to you, Chief. See you on the next episode. Bye-bye for now, and we'll see who's hiding first here.